Martin. Uh, Jose just had his press conference. He's updated the journalists on the latest transfer activity. It doesn't seem like there will be much from from Chelsea today. No, we've had it from his own mouth. Really, the only deal today looks like being the short term, like in, in, in for a few minutes and then back out again, <laughs> arrival of Kurt Zuma from St Etienne as a player for next season. Otherwise, he's made it pretty clear that um, if you want to see a striker, you'll have to wait till the summer. It's not going to happen now. That seems to be the, the move music from the club that nothing else is going to happen. Maybe a youth team player going out on loan, but basically the, the draw bridge has been, been pulled up. Do you find that quite surprising, that, that there's going to be a lack of movement? Well, not really, because it's been the, the signal. I mean, the fact that they bought, got in more than we thought they were going to in terms of, of Matic and Salah, which probably didn't expect at the start of the window, maybe one, but no more than that. So I think we got used to the idea of not, not a lot happening. I still think that Chelsea need a striker. They need an, an, a line leader, a, nun, a number nine. Um, but it's almost as if that he, what he's saying is true, that the club accept they're probably going to come second to City this year. Uh, there's no point in getting someone in to get closer and still finish second. You're still going to finish second. Um, Live with it, get on with it, and uh, and then do it better for, for next season with a proper line leader. As you were saying, do you think a lot of Jose's work is rebuilding for future and next season? Now? Well, it also shows for the first time that there's a genuine idea or an acceptance that you don't have to win every season or be sacked as Chelsea manager, because otherwise he couldn't think that, that, like that. So he obviously has spoken to the, the board and the hierarchy, and they've given him the, the green light to actually genuinely make a long-term plan, which Chelsea must be three years is long-term, let's be honest. So yeah, I think that seems to be where we're going, that there's no, the old pressing demands to actually win something have, have gone off. Obviously they want to win something, they'd like to win, but they want to see a, a propulsion, a movement, and they, the expectation, I mean, when he came in last summer, he said, look, second season I win. Well, basically he probably has to. But that's the plan, and they seem to have bought into that, which is a surprise because that's not been the Chelsea way in the past.